It's the 22nd of July, I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath and here are today's news headlines. A new witness will be called in the Kreja case, Sanral will ease legal action against ETOL non-compliers and separatists have released the bodies of the MH17 victims. A new state witness is expected to be called in the trial of Czech fugitive Radovan Kreja and five others at the High Court in Johannesburg today. Now Kreja and five others face charges of kidnapping, attempted murder and dealing in drugs. They allegedly kidnapped Becky Lukele from his Katla home home in June last year. Lukele testified about how he was bound, blindfolded, assaulted and had boiling water poured over him, allegedly by Kreja, all in a bid to get him to reveal the whereabouts of his brother called Doctor. Doctor had allegedly disappeared with 25 kilograms of methamphetamine or TIC, which he had been tasked to transport to Australia, allegedly for Kreja. All the accused have denied involvement in the matter. Sanra will heed the call by Transport Minister Dipwa Peters for the prosecution of non-paying ETOL users to be halted. Last week, Peters' office spoke to Sanra about holding back the prosecution process. Peters believes there's still a number of outstanding issues that need to be resolved, particularly those that affect the users of roads, including inaccurate billing. The National Prosecuting Authority confirmed it had appointed two prosecutors to work with Sanra to deal with the non-payment of ETOLs. Peter's office said the measures were put in place to encourage users to comply with the system. And finally, after intense international pressure, pro-Moscow separatists have released the train that was packed with bodies of the victims of the downed Malaysian Airlines flight MH17. They also handed over the black boxes from the downed Malaysian Airlines plane four days after it plunged into rebel-held eastern Ukraine. Russia's defense ministry said it saw no evidence that a missile had been fired and denied involvement, while Russian authorities suggested that the Ukrainian military was at fault. Russian President Vladimir Putin showed no sign of abandoning the separatists as fighting flared up again near the crash site. Meanwhile, President Barack Obama accused the rebels of tampering with evidence and insulting the victims' families, warning of new sanctions. European states are considering their own sanctions today. The bodies of the 298 victims, mostly from the Netherlands, have become a part of the conflict in Ukraine. They could hold evidence of what brought the plane down on July 7th, 17th rather, as it was flying from Amsterdam to Kuala Lumpur. Grief turned to anger as families begged to get the bodies back of their loved ones, while the separatists held on to the remains. For these stories and more, stay tuned to News24 Live, follow us on Twitter and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel.